Morning Tony, what have we got today? How you doing Logan? Well today we're going to do a posh breakfast. Oh good, because I'm starving. Knowing that we might be doing this, I decided to bake some brown bread last mm -hmm. night and there you go. I know, that's lovely. Now I've tried this once already and I must admit, that's, uh, that's, that's, I was impressed. show the viewers. Just tilt it towards the camera a bit so we can see it. Oh yes, you see my nice rough crust on the top there. A rough crust. And what you don't see is he's actually took a slice out of it. I have to make sure it was up to standard Tony before I gave it to you. Is we're going to um, do the sausages and the bacon. Lovely. Now, as I said, I am going to be um, quite healthy and um, the bacon will go to oven roast because I want it nice and crisp. Did you get that? Yep. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put that into the oven and we're going to roast it on both sides so we'll have to turn it over in about 10 minutes time. It's going to be nice and crisp and it's on about 180 degrees. What kind of bacon is that Tony? That is smoked streaky bacon. Uh, good Irish bacon as well. Great. Okay. Right Logan, that's What's the nice? bacon taken care of. Now we're going to do the sausages. I've preheated this pan already and what I want to do is, I want, don't want to cook these all the way through, all I want to do is just brown them. I Without brown the oil that side? Brown them. Is there a bit of oil in the pan? There is a small drop of oil in the pan, not much whatsoever, but the idea is that I'm just going to brown those on both sides, stick them into the oven and then the oven will get rid of uh, a little bit of fat that's in them. But they are good quality meat sausages. Nice sausages. Tony, where's they're, they're lovely sausages, good meat content in them. I've been told they're 75%. I got those from my favourite butchers in Balbrick and Gleason's up in um, Millfield, you know that new shopping centre. Oh yeah, besides Tesco. <laughs> yeah, well okay, yeah. I was going to say... Well everybody knows where it is. Yeah, that's right. Good lads in there, uh, Dino and Jar, and uh, very helpful. They'll uh, give you advice from cooking and cuts of meat that you want. So That's they tell I'm you how to cook these off the Tony? Uh, no, no, uh, no, no. They try to, but I, I'm past helping anyway now. I'll say nothing. Well, the sausages look brown now, Tony. Yeah, how long does that take? They've taken around about six minutes. Okay, you're putting them in. Now, remember Paris I said dish. to you, I'm going to, um, I've turned the oven on now. <clears throat> I'm going to put them into the oven on this, on this parchment paper. Well, this is this reusable stuff they can get. And the reason is, is because um, we're going to put them a little bit more in there while we finish off. We have a few other things to do. What next, Tony? Right. I put the sausages in. We're going to do the hollandaise sauce next. All right. Uh, I know you said you've never made it before, but this is, you don't have to make it, but um, I can, so we're going to do it. And of course, if you came around to my house, knowing that I'm a chef, or I used to be a chef, how would you feel if I said, I've just got it out of a packet, or uh, you, you see me pour it out of a packet? Oh, I'd be disappointed. You'd be me. disgusted, you would, all right. So, uh, I have here what we call a bain marie. There's a little drop of water in there, and I won't show you because it's just water. And I have a bowl, and it's not quite touching the bottom, but I'm going to use a steam. So, egg yolks are in there, I'm going to whisk them over the water that is slightly warm, but not boiling. I think this is done enough. Alright, I'm going to add the butter nice and slowly. But we have to be very careful at this point because it can start to split. What do you mean by split? Well, it, it'll curdle, alright, if we're not careful. If it's either too high or too low when we're adding the butter or we add that too quickly, it will curdle. Splitting and curdling both sounds very nasty. It's very similar, it's okay. Um, there are tricks you can do. Some chefs will say that you have to let it cool down and then start whisking it really vigorously and bring it back uh, or put it on ice or others will say add another egg yolk to it. A little trick is a dollop of mayonnaise, but I haven't told you that. Ah. You're pouring in the melted I'm butter? I'm pouring in a little, a little bit, bit of melted butter. butter. This should be a two-person job, you know, somebody to pour the uh, melted butter in. Well, if my hands weren't full, I'd offer the help. Yeah, I know. But you can see, it's starting to take shape now. A bit more. Something I forgot to mention, if you look in there, you can see, can you see the yellow? And you can see below it is a white. Yes. Okay, and now the just, white... Can we just zoom in there, Tony, for a second? Okay. You have the butter fat and the buttermilk. Right. And I don't want to put any of that buttermilk in if I can help it. I only want the fat. 
Right, it's taken a bit of time, but um, there is our um, hollandaise, our basic hollandaise, okay? And you can see I've left in there the buttermilk. Can you see that? Yes. All right. That can be cooled down and it can be used for baking. Okay. Something like your... Um, I use buttermilk in the brown bread. There you go. I'm going to season the uh, hollandaise. I have some vinegar in here and about a tablespoonful, and I'm going to boil that up. That's one of the things. But a hot paprika, a little bit of that in there. That was paprika. That's hot paprika that's gone in there. A bit of salt. Now, it is a little bit um, thick, but that's fine for now. If I need to, I'd add a drop of water just to uh, thin that down. You see the uh, vinegar's coming up to the boil. I'm just going to reduce it by half, and then I'm going to put that in there. The vinegar. All of it, or just a little bit? All of it. And we stir that in. Now, Lorcan. Proof is in the tasting. Oh, yes. Have a little My taste of that. Nice and rich. Mm, very rich, very creamy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put that to one side. I'm going to cover it with a plate just to keep it warm. The water under there will uh, keep it warm as well. And we're going to do uh, your bread. Oh, great. Oh, listen, first, let's just check the bacon. Ah, here we go. Now, great. it looks good. And it smells fabulous. I, you know, it's a little bit overcooked for some people, but what I'm looking for here is lovely, crisp pieces of bacon. This is a salad, as well as being breakfast. I'm turning them over to cook them on the other side. Um, just move things along a little bit quicker. I'm going to put in my sausages on the side. Put my cherry tomatoes in here, can you see? A small drop of olive oil. And the whole lot goes back in the oven now, just to finish off. We're near the end. They go up the top. Right, let's do your bread. I'm going to slice the bread. Like so. Okay, lengthwise. Lengthwise. A small drop of olive oil on these. And we're going to toast those in a turbo oven. Now, if you don't have a turbo oven... Um, again, into your oven. And they can be done... Uh, they can be done at the beginning. So if we're using a conventional oven, what temperature would we use? Oh, as high as you can get it. I have this at 250. This oh. will take about 10 minutes. And while we're poaching our eggs, which is next, that will be cooking nicely. I have in here some water, which is simmering. It's not boiling. If you have it boiling, they will just fall apart. I put a drop of vinegar in, a bit of salt, and here goes the pepper. Now, this is a little chefy thing. What I've done is to speed things up is I've actually poached these off already, and I've put them into cold water. And you can see they're already cooked. We'll just reheat them in a moment. I'm going to cook you one, okay. or a couple anyway, and so you can see how they're done. But if I was doing for a lot of people, oh. I would cook them all off beforehand, stick them away, and then I'd bring them out and just cook them, or just reheat them. Because you know yourself, do, what do you want for breakfast? I'll have a poached egg. Cook it now, the 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. What's the egg like? It's like rubber. Just to remind myself, and you, in here is the water which is simmering nice and gently. This slight movement, but not rapid movement in there, okay? Uh, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and a small drop of vinegar. And the vinegar helps to keep the egg white nice and white, and also to set it. And we'll just crack the egg into that, like so. And drop it as close to the water as you possibly can. We have got a five minute uh, cold on the bread which I'm going to turn over, some more olive oil. And what folks eggs have done, I'm just going to add another couple that I've done previously. We're nearly 
finished. Everything's coming on nicely. Go and show you my little gadget. Oh yeah. I was um, wondering what that was. Yeah, well, I bought this. Cost me about three fifty. And I'll show you why it's so good. I'm just going to chop some onion up. Just cut those in half like that. Can you see how fine they are now? Wow. Now I and couldn't no do any better either. than that. No, no. Great. Where did you get it? That I got my local littles. Chopped lovely. Let's have a look. Oh yes. Very convenient. And I'm going to add that now to my uh, rocket. Now all we have here is uh, our chopped onion and uh, some rocket. That's the bread. That means that's done. A small drop of oil in there, and it's time to assemble our food. Some of your balsamic glaze, is it? Yeah. There's some balsamic glaze that goes in there just to. Uh, just to show off. Just to show off. You're right. And in the middle goes our rocket. Some lovely roasted cherry tomatoes. Eggs. Okay. A clean tea towel. And all of you, you can use kitchen paper if you have it. Just slap it on like so. Right. A hollandaise sauce. And our lovely crispy bacon. Indeed. And there's plenty there too. It sure is. Nice. Okay, let's eat those. Oh, Tony, that was absolutely fantastic. You know, Logan, um, that was a great brunch, wasn't it? It was fantastic. You know, and you, uh, you, you all the way through, you're going, I didn't, I, I wouldn't have had that combination of uh, salad with um, the breakfast stuff, but you enjoyed it. No, Come I've on. never had salad for breakfast before, but I will again, I can tell you that. Right. And, and just look at the empty plates. That's well, yeah, don't that's forget that's about yours. That's yours. That's, that's yours. mine. I, I had to restrain myself from licking it. Um, no, but it was it was very nice um, and uh, quite enjoyable. And it, it's something that you could have for a special occasion. Maybe a Saturday brunch, as you said. Maybe a um, wedding breakfast. Maybe the night after the Debs. The night after the Debs. It'd be a great cure. Uh, well, maybe, but I don't know. It's a long time since my Debs. Oh, well. We're not the only ones in the world. Right, next week, fish. Look forward to it. Okay. Great stuff. All See the best. You then. Thanks, Tony.